Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Bosch WAU 28PH9 1400 spin washing machine. And what I want to do today is to show you around the washing machine and some of the features and benefits that it offers because there's actually quite a lot to talk about with this machine. Just before I start, all I'd normally say is please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up. Uh, what I do is I talk about household appliances mainly and I do specialise in cordless vacuums as well. So just give us a quick thumbs up please and then we'll carry on. So onto the washer itself. And this machine has a maximum spin speed of up to 1400 spin. And I'll show you later on the display how you can alter that if you don't want the full 1400. Uh, but as far as the load size, this has a maximum load of up to nine kilograms. And what we've found over the years as, as a retailer, that people have moved up in load sizes of washing machines in what they, what they require. Uh, so really what people are after is uh, larger loads so we've gone from six kilograms being a standard, seven, eight, and nine is becoming a, a pretty standard load size now, especially for families where you are doing a lot of washing. And something else people are interested in is the energy efficiency of the machine. So things like how much water, electricity it consumes, and also the amount of detergent. And the reason I mention that is because I suppose traditionally what will happen is that your uh, you've got a full load in there, especially if it's things like football kits, rugby kits that are very dirty. Uh, you're very tempted to just add a little bit more liquid in because you think, well, you know, oh, it's a full wash, it's a dirty wash, let's put a bit more in. And that's not always the case. So what this machine has is something called IDOS, and that stands for intelligent dosing. And what this will do is it will actually take in the amount of liquid required for the actual wash itself. Now I'll just show you in the drawer here. So the soap drawer itself does open as normal, uh, but you will notice that it's completely different design to a normal washing machine. And what this will do, this is designed so that you can load up to 1.3 litres of liquid detergent in the first section, and up to half a litre of fabric softener in the second section. And what this will do is this will enable you to wash around 20 washes without having to refill it. Now this kind of design really is fantastic. Bosch have made this uh, this kind of IDOS machine for several years now. Uh, this is quite a new machine to the market. Uh, but what they've done is they've improved the, the whole concept of IDOS. Uh, this is something called IDOS 2. So it's the second generation. And the main advantage is that it is more accurate uh, as to the, the actual dosing of the liquid. Also, you have got the option, if you didn't use fabric softener, because not everyone uses fabric softener, then you can actually load liquid detergent into the second section as well. So as well as the initial section, then you can actually have both of them, which will enable you to wash even more than the standard 20 washes. I always say roughly 20. Uh, clearly it depends on the, uh, I suppose, how dirty the clothes are. So basically what IDOS will do is it will actually measure the load volume so it knows what, how many clothes are in there. Um, it's got sensors built in. Uh, it'll measure the volume of the laundry and it will dose precisely down to the milliliter. Uh, so it's, again, it's just using the amount of liquid that's required. Um, it'll also detect the type of fabric in your load and what it will do is it will set the right program uh, and the right amount of detergent depending on the fabric that's in there. So really, really good system. I'll show you around the display in a minute. Um, and then also it will determine the degree of dirt. So as well as knowing the fabric, then it will actually determine how dirty the fabric is. So again, if you've put in, say, really dirty football kits or rugby kits, then it will know to wash for longer than if you just put a, a handful of shirts in that aren't really that dirty. So just before I carry on, I can just show you this. So you can actually take out the drawer if you want to. You just press the little blue handle on the left hand side and the whole drawer comes out. So it is easy to maintain and clean if you want to. Um, there's not a lot to do, but you can take this out and just give that a, a quick rinse if you want to. Uh, this is something that Bosch will normally recommend. So it's, it's nice you can take this out and pop it back in and it just clips back in over the little blue handle there and then you're ready to go. So you turn the machine on by pressing the button in the middle. You will notice that it makes a strange sound. 
So that's come from the drawer. Uh, that is quite a normal sound, uh, mainly because at the moment I haven't got any liquid or detergent in the drawer. Um, but as far as the display itself, uh, it is a really, really impressive display uh, to touch control as well. So as far as the, I'll, I'll run through some of the programs, uh, but the display itself, uh, it is a really nice LED display. Uh, what you can do as far as the functionality, uh, first of all, you've got the, the option to change the spin speed. So if you wanted to keep it on the 1400, which it should normally default to, especially on some of the cotton programs, then you've got that option. As far as the IDOS, uh, I did mention earlier that if you want to, then you can have the second section to just be the liquid detergent. And all you do is you just press that button, you go into it and change it over to liquid detergent. Uh, but what this will do is this will enable you to use the IDOS uh, you don't have to, so if you chose not to, then you can just turn both of the sections off and use it as a standard washing machine. Personally, I'm not really sure why you do that, um, that it gets rid of any of the intelligent dosing that you've already paid for. Uh, but as far as the display, you've got the, it shows you the time remaining of the program. Um, so on this particular program, it's around three and a half hours, so it's quite a, quite a long program. Uh, just underneath here, you have got a time delay option. So what this will do is this enables you to delay the start of the program. Uh, this is really good if you've got things like Economy 7, where you've got cheap electricity during the night. Um, but all that happens is it goes up in half an hour increments to start with, and you can go up to 24 hours. And then once you've selected that, so that's actually to the, uh, the time it will finish it's not the starting time. So that's really good because what it will do is it will actually take into account the duration of the wash. So if you put it on at nine o'clock at night and if you wanted it to finish at six in the morning, then like it's showing there, you would select nine hours. And then once you've selected that, you just press the start button on the right hand side. So that's the time delay, which is the minus and plus. Uh, just underneath that, you have got these little indicators here. So what this will do is these will actually indicate how energy efficient the wash is. So you will see here that it does change. So it goes from a one to five scale. So one is the most energy efficient and then five is the least efficient. Uh, I personally, I think even the least efficient program on here would be very energy efficient, uh, com especially compared to some older washing machines. Um, but it just gives, it's good, really good indicator rather than telling you say, how many liters of water it's going to use. Um, it's just a good visual indicator to just give you an idea as to if the wash that you're selecting is an energy efficient one. So first of all, you've got the water and then you've got the electricity underneath. Um, but what I'll do is I'll run through some of the programs now. Uh, so the first one on here is the Eco 40 to 60. Uh, you should find that this is a standard program on all washing machines now. Uh, and what this will do is it will actually select the temperature for you. So it varies between 40 and 60. And what it will do is it will actually weigh, so it, it measures the clothes, so it knows the load size that's in there. Um, and what it will do is it will take in the amount of water that's required. And but to be fair, that is standard for, for all the programs. Uh, but what it will also do is it will select the temperature for you, uh, depending on how dirty uh, the clothes are. So that's why the temperature selection has disappeared down the left hand side here. If you've got a standard cotton program, then you do have the option to change the temperature. And, and on this, this one, you can go down to just cold. So it just washes in the temperature of the water that's coming into the machine. Uh, but just going back to this one, the Eco 40 to 60. And with this, this is, as I mentioned, it should be a standard program on all washers. It will be a long wash. So you will find here that it's around three and a half hours. Uh, the time or the duration of the wash will change. So if you only put say half a load in, then it doesn't normally take the three and a half hours. It will get done a lot quicker. Um, but I suppose as far as wash times, clearly what people are after is quick washes. 
and this machine has got quick washes uh, I'll just come around to that in a moment but if you want a full load so if you wanted a full 9 kilogram load and I just mentioned about the load size that if you just open the door slightly then it will actually display the load that you can put into the machine uh, so on some of these and again the cotton programs are quite long this one here is going into the realms of four hours but for some of the programs what you'll find is a little symbol will appear here in the corner so if I just turn it back to the cotton program then you've actually got an option called speed and what that will do is that's reduced it so I'll just show you that again it's reduced it from three and a half hours to around one and a half hours and that's still on the cotton program okay it's not the full load uh, as it shows there it's reduced it down to five kilograms but if you are in a hurry then uh, you have got that option uh, for the cotton program and what that would do is that still allows you to wash at the the high temperatures so if you wanted to wash something at 90 degrees then you've still got that option and just quickly to show you some of the other programs uh, as we go around you've got things like the easy care program uh, this is designed for uh, washing things like the synthetics or blended fabrics as Bosch will call it um, on these ones you don't have the full load you can wash up to a maximum of four kilograms uh, and again with the mixed load uh, where well, you've got things like the delicates and the silk um, and what you'll find with these is some of these programs it, as you can see here it's taken off the option to wash at the very high temperatures because things like delicates, silk and also things like wool then you wouldn't necessarily need to wash at the higher temperatures clearly you're not going to wash your woolens at 90 degrees now the next option on here is a, an option called app and it's the additional programs and what this machine has got is something called home connect and what you can do is via your phone or tablet uh, just go on to home connect or home-connect.com and you can get this set up and linked to your Bosch washing machine and what it does is it's actually it's a system which Bosch have run for several years and they keep on improving it uh, you can link it with other devices as well so it's not just Bosch appliances that it's linked to uh, but in a nutshell what, what you can do is you can actually start the machine so if you're out and if you know you wanted to start the machine via your phone or tablet then you've got that option now that isn't really something new that's something that's been around for several years um, but what you can also do is uh, you've got things like service and diagnostics so that if you do have a problem with the machine I mean hopefully you shouldn't because being a Bosch appliance then it should be very reliable but if you do get a problem with it then as long as it's all connected and it's linked up through your Wi-Fi system then when you call Bosch service then they should be able to determine what the fault is with the machine before you come out now that's something that's going through the process at the moment it is quite new I have also heard that initial trials have gone really well so hopefully by the time you watch this video then it'll all be up and running um, also through the app then it will give you diagnostics with the machine so it gives you say how many washes you've done uh, so there's quite a lot you can do through the app so just as far as the additional programs what this will do uh, I've gone off course a little bit is that it will through the Home Connect app you can actually download additional programs and this is something that Bosch are quite proud of uh, because as technology advances uh, clearly once the machine's in place then you can't really change the programs on there but at least what Bosch have done is through the Home Connect app then you can actually add on additional programs if you want to and you've got the options around here so you've got things like the spin and drain so if you've hand washed something then you've got the option here to select the spin speed and then just spin and drain or you've got the rinse and spin uh, drum clean is becoming a popular option now uh, this is something that a lot of customers like uh, just really to try and keep the machine clean uh, all you do is you select that and most manufacturers so it's not just Bosch but most manufacturers will recommend to uh, put this on uh, probably around once a month uh, but at least by doing that then it will just help to keep the the machine clean I wouldn't really recommend using 
um, other detergents to help keep the machine clean I'd normally just recommend using this drum clean option uh, as you go around so you've got things like the the mix load super quick 15 and 30 minutes so these are really good options uh, as it says there are two options in one so you've got a 30 minute program so that program itself is around four kilogram load so it's not the full load that you can wash in 30 minutes and then if you press the speed option then that reduces it down to 15 minutes and as it shows there that's a maximum load of up to two kilograms so that's a really good option if you just really want to wash something uh, very quickly uh, don't get into the thought process that it is a full wash uh, some people think they're going to do everything on 30 minute washes I definitely wouldn't recommend that um, I think it's something people need to get into the habit of learning that washing times do take longer um, some people are buying machines and constantly using the machine on their very quick washes are the 28 30 minute washes and what you'll find is first of all the washing performance isn't as good so clothes are not coming out as clean uh, also the machine itself isn't getting clean inside by just doing these very very quick washes uh, and as you come round you've got the shirt program uh, so that's that's really designed so that if you do wash clearly if you wash a lot of shirts or blouses then that's a great program to use and the last program on here is called auto soft um, and what this will do this is designed to wash things like delicate items uh, made from cotton synthetic or blended fabrics um, and it's just really a like a gentle program uh, it's maximum load of up to three and a half kilograms so again it's not a full load that you can wash um, and it's a maximum temperature of 30 degrees so now I've gone through the different programs uh, I just want to show you the display in a bit more detail I've pretty much covered the temperature so as I say you can go from 90 degrees all the way down to a cold program spin speeds will clearly vary from uh, 1400 all the way down to 400 spin um, as far as the other options on here the first one is this, this is the additional rinses so if you've got somebody in the household that has very sensitive skin um, and if you find that some of the detergents um, don't quite get on with a family member then what you can do is you can actually add extra rinses into the program and as it, as it displays that by adding say three rinses then it does increase the wash time it's always nice to have that option uh, I'll just show you that again so it goes from 341 uh, 353 to 405 and again with these it will actually adjust the wash time uh, depending on the load that's in there the other option you've got so underneath you've got things like a pre-wash uh, pre-wash isn't really talked about as much nowadays uh, I think I'm surprised that some manufacturers are still putting it on as an option uh, I think what people are after is uh, quicker washes and to try and speed up the process rather than adding the, the pre-wash into that but clearly Bosch still find that there is a, a need for it um, you've also got this option here that's soak so what that will do is that um, Bosch claimed that it, before the wash cycle starts um, the laundry remains in the water for longer so all it's doing is it sends a certain amount of water in and it will just soak the clothes um, in a way it's, I suppose it's a little bit like hand washing or if you put something into soak um, like a say a, a saucepan uh, I mean we do it at home rather than putting it straight in the dishwasher you know put something to soak just to help remove the the, the food uh, and a similar concept in this washing machine that you've got the soak option so if, if you're not in a hurry then it's something that is quite good but clearly it does add extra time into the program so if you take that off then yeah that's adding over an hour onto it uh, the next one on here that's the rinse hold so if you if you're out if you're using the time delay then what you can do is you can actually enable the rinse hold and what it does is it suspends the clothes in the final rinse water uh, so rather than spinning and leaving everything uh, to, to crease then it just uh, as I say suspends the clothes in the final rinse water when you come back just press the button it'll go through the spinning process and then you can take the clothes out afterwards uh, the next option on here is called easy iron 
and what that will do that just reduces the spin speed slightly uh, so it doesn't necessarily spin at the full 1400 spin uh, but what you can do is you can change it up to 1200 if you want to uh, but as I say it just reduces the spin speed and it's a lower agitation spin uh, that can be quite good for delicate fabrics and then the next option you can actually change some of the settings uh, so you've got things like the, the noise levels uh, the brightness of the display uh, but what it also doubles up is the child lock so once you've started the program if you press and hold that for three seconds then what that's done is that's that's actually stopped us changing any of the settings on the machine so if you have got little people in the household that like to come along and play with the dials uh, then what it does is it just locks the display and to take that off all you do is you just press and hold the button there and then you can change the program, program again. Uh, the next option on here is something called Favourite. And it, it is a good option on this machine. I think on some simpler machines, I'm not sure why they put it on, uh, but I think on this machine, it is a very good option. And what this will do, if there is a certain program that you use a lot, uh, so if I've selected the cotton, um, if I want to get rid of the IDOS 2, put it on 1200, I want to add two extra rinses rather than having to select that each time what you can do is you can actually press and hold that button for three seconds and what that does that's actually my favorite program now so if I uh, say select a different program uh, if I wanted to go back to my original program then I just press my favorite and you see it's remembered everything there so you see I've selected 40 degrees it was a 1200 spin, I've taken off the RDS2, added a couple of extra rinses. It's remembered everything. And then finally on the right hand side here, you've got the option for the remote start. And that's part of the Home Connect app uh, that I mentioned earlier. So it's something I would recommend. Um, we will have our customers come back to us saying how good it is. Um, to be fair, they weren't too sure when they bought the machine. They did think it was a feature that they wouldn't necessarily use. Uh, but once you set it up, then once you're using it then it is something that is really good and you will see that the start and pause button has disappeared and the reason for that is the door isn't shut so as I say this is the start and the pause button so again a really really good indicator um, so when you press that then it will just start the machine and you've got the option on here to pause the program uh, this can be a really good option uh, if you've just loaded the washing into the machine then you realize you've got a sock left there and rather than leaving it till the next load then you can pause the program uh, clearly you can only do it at a certain point up until where the water level is still low if it's already gone up above the door personally I just recommend leaving it till the next wash uh, if you have to hop around for a couple of days then that might be the case with one sock on so as far as the door itself, it is easy to open. You've got a nice easy grip handle on the right hand side here. Uh, what I'm really pleased is that Bosch is still using metal hinges and you've still got the metal door catch. Uh, I'll point this out because, uh, well, for, for most brands like Bosch, the, the better quality manufacturers, they are still using these. Some of the cheaper manufacturers are reverting to plastic hinges and door catches. And you will find that over the time that they can be the first thing to break off. So that's really, really good. Um, you have got a large porthole here. So when it comes to getting the clothes in and out, then that's easy. Uh, with a nine kilogram load, you know, if, especially if you've got a large family where you're doing lots of washing, getting the clothes in and out is a very important job. Uh, you will notice in here that you have got a cheeky little light. Uh, this is something that is really good. Uh, I know some people think it's a little bit gimmicky, um, but I personally like it because because it's quite a big drum in here. I know you probably can't quite get the sense of how big the, the drum is. Um, but what you can find is if you've got, say, a, a sock in there at the back, uh, when it's completely dark, then it's something that can be quite difficult to see. Uh, but as I say, they've put a, a little LED light in there. What Bosch do is they actually use a different type of drum. Uh, so it's something called wave drum and what it will do is that it will actually protect the fabrics so if you if you're washing things like um, sort of 
very high-end cashmere jumpers than on a standard washing machine then you can find that you get the, the bobbling effect uh, but what Bosch have done is they've redesigned this drum and to be fair it's something they have done for several years now so it's not a, not a new thing uh, and also the, the actual paddle designs so these are designed as well so that depending on the fabric and depending on how dirty everything is uh, it will actually rotate a different way so you could find that if it's um, if the if everything you're washing is say the delicate fabrics then it will rotate clockwise uh, whereas if, if things that you're washing are quite dirty uh, and if they is say if it's a, a cotton program uh, then you can find that it will rotate anti-clockwise now this is quite an interesting concept and I suppose you know clearly you're not going to sit there and watch it which way is it going um, you know for, for most washes it will rotate both ways anyway just to avoid the tangling of the clothes at the bottom here you've got access to the pump so just by taking that flap down then you can actually undo this um, and that's just really a coin trap so if you've had any coins or bits of bobs that have fallen out your trousers because somebody hasn't emptied the pockets as they should have done then any of those bits will normally end up just down here um, as I normally say don't do it during the wash if you do it during the wash then chances are you're going to get very soggy feet um, but just wait till the wash is completed you've taken everything out and then have a look inside there so it just rotates anti-clockwise uh, to give you access if you do need to empty the machine then you've got a little pipe here um, this can it can take a while to do I've, I've only had to do it a couple of times at home myself uh, with a, another machine um, but what you will find is that it's it's a lot better to have this option to take the water out of the machine than trying to force the door open also if you did need to open the door if you had a power cut and clearly if you've emptied the water using the little hose then you've got a little tag here so you just get a screwdriver push it down and then that enables you to open the door so that's that's really a I suppose in a in an emergency if you needed to get something out now I know for some people it's not relevant uh, but I'll show you anyway this is around the back of the machine uh, it can help if if you're going to install it yourself uh, first of all you've got the waste hose on the left hand side here uh, this is quite a good length so that just clips in and you do also get this with it as well so that's just designed to for the waste hose to sit in here so that you can provide a, a u-bend just to go into a, a standpipe that just clips back there uh, you've all noticed that this is the the water pipe uh, this is a really good device this is called a hydra safe and it's got a leak sensor in here uh, this is something again that Bosch have used on their higher end machines for several years and they do work um, if you do get a leak at all within the machine then it will tell you on the display on the front uh, the only thing is to mention that if you are going to put it through a cupboard then you just need to make sure that the the hole is big enough for that to go through because that's something that you can find on the installation and also you've got the uh, mains connection at the bottom left here uh, you have got the transit bolts so you've got the four transit bolts in here they're just located behind uh, just behind the pipe here so you have to take these out if you don't take them out before you start using the machine then basically it will damage the machine and that won't be covered under the manufacturer's warranty also just to show you this quickly uh, this is um, a standard design that Bosch have used again for quite a few years uh, this can help to reduce vibration within the machine uh, especially when it's spinning because uh, these machines are very quiet they use something called an eco silence drive uh, it's basically a very energy efficient and quiet motor so if you're interested in buying one of these machines then I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price uh, something I would also say is look at the warranty on the machine as standard on Bosch appliances like this they come with a two-year warranty uh, there are certain times where Bosch are offering promotional warranties where it goes up to five years and not many manufacturers are willing to put a five-year guarantee on an appliance especially at this sort of price so it is something I would look out for uh, but all I normally say is I hope you've enjoyed this quick video on the Bosch WAU 28PH9 washing machine please subscribe to my YouTube channel give us a quick thumbs up and leave any comments below on the video uh, I know there are probably things that I've missed 
to be honest, on this kind of machine there is a lot to talk about, uh, but what I've tried to do is to cover the basics, sort of going around the machine, and as it just showed, uh, ironically it's just switched off, and that was really good timing, because that is something I had forgotten to mention. Uh, what it will do is it will actually switch off if you've not selected a program within a certain time. So it couldn't have been timed better. But anyway, back to the comments. So I'd normally say to leave any comments on the video, whether it's good or bad, if you didn't enjoy it, let me know. Um, also, if you have got any questions on the IDOS machine, then pop it in the comments and I'll get back to you. Also, if you have got an IDOS machine, uh, it doesn't have to be this one, uh, just let me know what you think about it, because I'd always appreciate the feedback, and some of the manufacturers will ask for feedback on some of the comments as well. But anyway, thanks for watching.